What is going on guys, it's me, Perfect 34 back again with another video. Today guys, we're going to be playing some more 60 seconds as I love this game. It's fun, it's really entertaining. So I've tried to do this one challenge for about uh, 5 attempts now. I've stopped the recording in every single one because I've died. So basically, it's called the Yes to Everything Challenge, where the clue's in its name. Any scenario that happens in the game, you have to say yes to. Now, people would think that will sound simple in theory, but in reality, it's actually really difficult. I've tried this about twice on Sarbomba and about three times on Fat Man, and I've had a lot of higher chance on Fat Man than Sarbomba, obviously, even while I'm doing the Yes, the yes to Everything challenge. So I've decided that I'm going to be playing it on um, Fat Man. Don't uh, kill me if I if you think I'm a wimp. So you're going to hear me clicking to to pick up the horse, then uh, pick up my stuff. Go straight in here. Water. Make it. Water. Um, Timmy. Oh, I see gas mask. Timmy. I have enough of that. Uh, come, I need to find the, uh, yeah, I need to find here to find this to put that in. I'm just saying to this, to put that in, to this, yes. Grab all the water and soup. I need to get every single soup and water from this room. I might be able to get the radio or the med kit. Actually, I haven't found them. Actually, I found the med kit and not the radio. Oh, I made it! Oh, I was about to—I was about to freak out there because I wasn't gonna make it. Oh, okay. Yes, to everything challenge. Really difficult. I'm not even joking. I don't have the radio with me, which is a bit of bro. Unless I get a radio from down here. I didn't. Uh, six water, six soups. Nice, nice. I got a med kit, I've got my gas mask, I got my ammo, my bug spray. Uh, so we got Timmy, Ted, and Dolores, everybody's looking nice. We got the, we got the power lock as well from the, just the basement itself. So, yes to everything challenge. In, in, in theory, it does sound like really simple, but it's so difficult. Like, there's nothing you can do, like, if, see, yes, if, if it's an option here, like, if I go here, well, it's not, it's not an option, but if it's an option, like, a suitcase, you're either gonna get hurt, sick, or there's a low chance you're gonna get something good. So, day three. Um. Oh, no. Oh, God, something's gonna get hurt here. This is bad. <laughs> Please. Nobody got hurt. Everybody is fine. That was a waste of time. At least you got you out for a day. Uh, so nothing. Let's read random notes in the first three days. Hmm. Interesting. Never thought that happened to me before. It's always been, uh, yeah. Death, death, blood, death. <laughs> Probably because I usually play in Sarbomba on my own. Uh, so it's gambling stuff. We can't do that because we didn't bring the checkboard or the, or the cards. Are the f How are you insane? Okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Do I want pancake or do I want to scavenge? I probably have enough to do um thing. I probably have enough to uh scout stay safe for a while. But uh, just before I continue this recording, guys, I just want to say, because I know a lot of people like to click off my videos by this point, uh, I just want to say, guys, if you do enjoy my content, please leave, uh, please uh, subscribe if you can. Um, it's been a, it's been amazing how you guys have already got me to 20 subscribers, and I hope, I'm hoping to keep that growing, uh, as I've always wanted to be a, a sort of popular YouTuber. Well, getting over 100 subs is probably going to be the most difficult part, but I, as long as you guys are holding my, keeping me behind my back, it's very good. Like... I, I love how you guys have already got me to that many subscribers. It's really, it's crazy. And I love you all, hope. I love you all the same. 
Okay, so, uh, can't do anything in that situation either. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for, uh, thank, thank you all for subscribing, it's really appreciated. Let's get back to this. Oh, so, day and I, the phone, get Timmy, where we are going to wait till about day 15, or, yeah, day 15 will be probably the best time to send out. Water suit. Wait, how have I got? Hmm. Uh, no, actually, no, yeah, no, no, no. I don't know which one to choose. I'm in the size. I don't know why you're insane. That's the annoying bit. Yeah, she should eventually calm down. Oh, it's the freedom people. If you don't have a weapon, they give you a weapon. If you don't, if you do have a weapon, they give you food. Yeah, say there's an axe. Uh, let's see now. Times will go. Oh, oh my gem! It's oh my gem. You want some rock? Oh my gem loves rocks. Jesus, Dolores, stop being insane. You're cracked, Dolores. You're cracked. We get it. Okay, so I think that was the time for the fallout to be gone. So I'm gonna start uh, starting an expedition by tomorrow. All right. So, uh, no, I'm not gonna give him. I'm not gonna give him that stuff. I'm gonna send for a whistle on expedition, and we're not gonna get the twin ending because the yes challenge means we got to go shoot shoot. And now we've got blood on our hands, and now the twins will never contact us again. Food and water. Uh, Timmy, for that. You, pro you probably did the most killing, Timmy. You know in Timmy, it's probably he did the most killing. He can go out. <laughs> you know, like, the child did the most killing. Uh, yep, we have to say yes. We can't ignore it. I was going to ignore it right there, but then I realized that we're not going to be able to do anything about it afterwards. I don't know how they use everything in the med kit if they're just tired. It's crazy how you don't know that. Like, why do you use all of the freaking materials even though that is just sleep? Oh, Jesus. I was just reading that thing down the bottom there. She re she got so mad that she literally threw a, cu a couple of pots down. Okay. Trader. Shoink trades. <laughs> but I do have another guy here at the door. I wonder who he's going to be. It can't be the twins because they saw his murder. It's another traitor and we don't have anything to trade them. I wish I brought the cards this time because I would have got an extra con that would have been appreciated. Timmy? The Tempster is sick. Two waters, a radio. Good lad, Timmy. Take some stuff. We stumble upon the remains of a bandit shandy town or something toward down. In incidentally, amidst the rubble, we find a cat licking. Oh, it's Sherkov. I've never actually seen this one before, but it's Sherkov. So we have Sherkov on the, the thing now, which really lowers their chance of getting insane, even when they're on their own. Somehow. And plus, we have the chance to get the FBI and the scientist ending now. So now. Every new smell attack attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss, so when a single brick fell from our wall revealing a tie opening, our senses were imme immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that, the ho that hole out and see what the source of that smell is. I also apologize for any uh, backwards, uh, any background noise as uh, thing as my dogs are, are getting played with. Okay, so we got a can of soup. 
Well, technically, the last time I did this trade, he gave me ammo. I traded the ammo and he gave me a radio, but what is he going to be able to trade now? If I give him this ammo and he gives me a fucking med kit, I'm going to cry. Med kit, med kit, med kit, pog. Pog med kit. No pog med kit. He just gave us more stuff. One suit can for ammo. That was the worst trade you possibly gave me in this entire game. Okay, maybe this is but the mil this is the beginning of the military ending. Uh Ted six some high, who knows how. Oh, Ted's allergic to share cold. Ah, that's why Ted's allergic to share cold. Mm, oh no. Oh, I hate this. I hate this challenge. I heard um, I heard Cherko from Yowie, and there didn't. Nope. I thought Cherko would have finally left, but no. Oh, actually, let's read it. Sorry. Oh, I swear to God, Dolores is okay. Dolores isn't sick, but Ted and Timmy were already were. There's nothing you can do right now about Timmy's sickness. Okay, that's about the scientist. That, uh, that's about the scientist thing. So already say yes. That's really useful. How we got him already. It takes it takes the um thing. It takes Sherko for away for a few days, which could help Ted recover. I'm gonna send Ted out because he's been the he was sick the day after, so he might have a chance to come back while he's sick. Bro, hog. Alright, day 28. I always get, if I if I get the trade about the uh, checkerboard and the bullets, I always get a trade straight after about the woman. Like, that's crazy. A water chip. How much water do I have? Four and, a, four and a quarter. Well, I have to say yes. Why was I even consulting it? Meow. Here goes back. There he is. He's a cutie. Water soup. I can spare the soup. Okay, so it's about Timmy. I was reading it by myself. Or it's Timmy or Dolores. Um, I think we should get the my Timmy. Unless you want Dolores sick too. That's a bra. Oh no, Sherry Coop's there. Day 31. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Sherko found a tiny wire stick from the ceiling, pulled it out, plastered debris, from debris fell on our table, top off, topped off with a big meowing furball. What's with this thing, anything? What is this thing, any, anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we let, if we take away the wire, so maybe it's the best to leave it be or should we examine that wire? Examine the wire, because you see, that's the FBI ending, which gives us the wire tap. Ted's back too. Still sick, but got a med kit. Oh, oh, this is this is a tough choice. I might give it to Timmy, but at the same time, I need adults more than kids because if you know what, adults said it's GG. So I'm thinking getting Ted the med kit. And straight after send, sending, yeah, no, no, no. I couldn't know it was left in our. Hang on. Okay, it's about the note, and we have to decipher it, and Dolores wants to. So we're gonna let her decipher. Let's go, Pog and Ted is not sick now, cause I cured him. Let's go. Ted was out in the wasteland for a while, so I'm gonna heal him, cause he's not gonna survive. Okay, so the agents that were spying on us, they're here, they wanna explain. Thirty four. Nothing. Timmy can do it, but nah, he'll probably die. Broadcast from the military. We can't do it. Pog. <laughs> Pog. Okay, Ted's getting this big child beer going. Let's go. Uh, 35, soup and water. Or else will die. Um, we saw something strange on our way back from the expedition to chain our lights in the horizon, pulsing and flashing in a chaotic manner. If we did, if it didn't make much sense to us at the time, but when we discussed the shelter, Timmy said it might be a secret scout symbol. Signal. 
Okay, so it's probably Morse code that they were doing. Timmy, I swear to God, if you don't get if you don't get healed from your sickness. Uh, so we haven't we haven't seen Timmy this excited in a long time. He decoded the flashing lights as a scout signal indeed, which means there's which means some of his friends are still around and kicking. Unless a few bandits find a scout handbook saying they're laying around now they're trying to lure innocent kids into a trap. Timmy wants to to barcode a message to try and transmit it soon. That's fine, Timmy. As long as you're uh, you're gonna die soon, but that's fine, Speedy. No water, excuse me. It took several days and a lot of silent cursing, but the lures finally cracked the code. Impressive, the note contains directions for some secret location nearby, but also says the lures must show up alone. She says she's willing to go, we can help w w wondering whether it's some sort of trap. Should we risk it? Yeah, we're gonna risk it, because I can't say else. It's the yes challenge, you can't say much in this situation. We also need Timmy to freaking get his ass out and heal. Alright, please don't destroy the mech, uh, really, what's our only hope? Enigma. I never got that achievement for Enigma. Once we had to read all the static of the transmission, this was by someone talking about conspiracies and saucer men from Mars and adopting people was pretty amusing. Dolores came back and looking relaxed and carrying extra supplies. The note was written by her old friend Peggy, who now inhabits a shelter together with other work colleagues at Dolores. She claims it was some sort of secretary job, but from before she married Ted, it's weird how little we know about about that time in her life. She's quite a private person, our dear Dolores, but clearly all these years ago she made friendships for life. These supplies will surely provide useful <laughs> two soups. Pog. Using a high-tech setup involving paper cups and yards of string, it's another FBI scene, so we're gonna send Cha Ted out. Chat is like, I really don't care anymore, just let me, just let me sleep. Alright, so Ted dips. I think if you were on your own and you send somebody out, the day skipped, because it happened in my last one. Crazy. Okay, so do flashlight, because who would transmit something through a freaking harmonica? It's probably gonna bust the fl oh, the flashlight didn't get busted and Cherko is not at that spot anymore. He's down there. So hand over the stuff. Ammo for a scout book, even though the scout book's been twenty times more effective than the ammo. Forty one. My goal, we're still in this. Forty one. We're still out in the kicking. So very suspicious banging about the hatch, but you're scared to open it, but it might be some good news, right? We gladly welcome any friendly face, even if it was our, fr our neighbor, Ned. We're pretty sure that if there was any reason for our town to get bombed, it would be that reason. Shall we open? Well, I don't have a choice in that situation now, do I? Ted came back. Hurt. Ted came back hurt. Timmy was right, the signal did come from his scout friends. They managed to track us down thanks to the Trump mission Timmy sent out a few days ago. And they came, came bearing gifts. Timmy was happy to reunite with his friends, if only for a day. All in, the, all in all, this was a good day for us. That recall mission was risky business. We had to visit neighborhoods. Oh yeah, because they got hurt. Because uh, it was a risky neighborhood. So, who was out there? It was, it was Chad Ted, so I'm going to give him some stuff. Um, I, I'm going to send Dolores out for an expedition. I say first. Yeah, it's unknown. So, Dolores and Timmy both love to read. They're also both craving some fun and challenge that doesn't include radioactive agony or being eaten by a mutant raccoon. They decide to hold a competition who can read the scout book faster and see and we let them. Yeah, we might as well. You, you ruin that book, go down book. I will slap you all. They wasted the book. They wasted the book. Oh dear, they basically tore the book apart, and it's possible to say who won, but Dolores and Timmy seem really content, though. Maybe one book a small price to pay for their contemporary happiness. It really isn't. I want you to burn. <laughs> you know what? Whoever ripped that book, hey, it's a 50 50 here. Do they have like a coin? No, I don't have a coin. Do they have a coin? Um. Let me, let me check this thing. Okay, I've got a something like a coin, so. He heads is gonna be Dolores, tails is gonna be Timmy. Oh, shit. Oh, bro, done. Oh, it fell back, boo. Uh, hang on. After inspection, it was Timmy. So we're gonna send Timmy out. Even though, actually, Timmy's been 
That was stupid of me even to do. Dolores is not sick and Timmy's sick. Who's gonna come back? It's clearly Dolores. Although she might die because of dehydration and stuff because she literally just came out just like two days before the water. Another transmission from the army. We got the car sank to the scouts. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Day 45, soup and water. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. It's something about them going insane, but we can kill it, and it's pretty easy. Another knock at the door. Ted's pretty badly wounded as well. Um. Oh, the agents! Oh, this is one of the most risky trades possible. You can trade four water to four soup. I'm going to do it, because if we do this, then we can easily survive. Because one and a half cans is still really, uh, a really decent amount, considering there's only two of us in the ca in the basement right now. Okay. Okay, so this is the uh, Rad Roach one, which is fine, because we could either use the Bug Spray or the um, Scout Book. But now, uh, Ted is, uh, bandied. Uh, Ted is um, awake now, that's what I was going to say. Suspicious. Oh, leather suitcase. 50 50! 50 50! 50 50! 50 50! A gift? 50 50! 50 50! Ah, Ted's dead. <laughs> Damn. Oh, it's a gift and it was actually um, tomato soup. And Ted, because he. Ted. Wait. Oh, I thought I said Ted took Ted's life. No, it's just his wood. So now we need to get the lowers back. Maybe if we do this, we might be able to get some stuff back. Dolores is back in the shelter as well. Timmy's back too. Oh! Wait, 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 wait! Who came back with what? Who came back with what? Oh, it was Dolores! Two waters, two soups, and a med kit! Dolores! The G! Food and water for all! Oh my god, Dolores popped off there! Doctors, okay, you can take it as long as Timmy doesn't it, as long as Timmy gets cured here. We're safe Now it might give us the option of Dolores is like Dolores is um Dolores got sick wounded on our last one. That's fine. Oh Okay, this might be the ending lads. This might be GG When you usually get one of these symbols it usually means it's a good symbol I'm gonna hit yes and hope for the best. Yes challenges are complete. The end! Yes, man! Men in black! Let's go! Yeah! Oh, that's insane! Let's go! Oh, that's really good! Let's go! This is the FBI ending! We actually got it! We were taken out of our home in the dark of night and hastily transported to one of the engines called a presidential bunker. It's amazing! Sure, the walls are similar shade of grey, but now we have a whopping 20 square feet more to walk around while we die of boredom. The extra bucket and newspaper supply is nothing to sneeze at either. Oh no, it's definitely an upgrade. Life in here will surely be worth all the trouble we went through. Finally, we can sit, relax, and let somebody else get, get, let somebody else empty the bucket for a change. Hey, right, let's go. 52 days. VIP paradise. That's the ending. And that's it. GG, guys. The 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 yes to everything challenge. You survived, maybe. The yes to everything challenge is finally over. We did it. It took me about five attempts, and we got a new ending too. We got the scientist ending. So there's two more endings we can do: the cat lady and the no. We got the FBI ending. They're not. We can do the scientist or the cat lady ending next. But I don't really care right now. I'm going to end this video here as we finally got it. We finally did it. It was so close to dying like multiple times. And we managed to get that pop, that clutch med kit by Dolores. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. If you guys did enjoy and if any of you are still here right now. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down, and comment down below. Tell me what you think about the video. And if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. You may enjoy my content that I make eventually. Or you enjoy my content now, but either or, I'm gonna end this video here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video right now, and I love you all. Catch you later. Bye bye.